This week on What in the World is Going On, we're remembering the systematic murder of over 6 million Jewish people. So stay tuned, friends. For those of you who may not know, the Friends of Israel have been around for some 82 years now. Yes, and it all began in 1938. The 1930s were a fragile time. Propaganda throughout Europe was already paving the way and dehumanizing the Jewish people. And in November 1938, Kristallnacht, Night of the Broken Glass, happened in Germany. Synagogues, homes, schools, and businesses of Jewish people were destroyed. And it was at this point things went from bad to worse. The Jewish people were ripped from their homes, put into ghettos, and sent to concentration camps where later, more than six million would be systematically murdered. Here in the United States, a group of Christians in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania had been praying for the Jewish people in Europe and were convinced they had to do more. In James chapter one, it says, be doers of the word and not hearers only. And that is what this group did. Something was stirred inside of them. And the Friends of Israel Refugee Relief Committee was born. And they started to put their time and money into saving Jewish lives. But why would they do this? Because they knew from Scripture that the Jewish people are God's chosen and the apple of His eye. After all these years, the Friends of Israel Gospel Ministries mission has not changed. And the Gospel is at the core of everything we do. Around the globe, our teams are serving Jewish people in need, providing food, medicine, clothing, personal care, and other basic necessities. Our free clinic in the heavily Jewish populated area of Buenos Aires, Argentina, provides around-the-clock medical care for those in need. Bible camps in Poland and Israel for both children and adults give a safe place for learning God's Word. We support pastors and believers in Israel both spiritually and financially. Teams travel year-round to areas of Eastern Europe, providing daily necessities to Jewish people in oppressed areas. In Australia and New Zealand, we're opening our homes to traveling Israeli soldiers. Our workers around the world are serving the Jewish people in practical ways by volunteering in area Holocaust museums, Jewish community centers, and caring for Holocaust survivors and their families. Our Bible teachers share in churches and conferences that there is and always has been a clear plan, a past, present, and future for Israel and the Jewish people. Resources like Israel My Glory magazine, videos, books, and the Friends of Israel Today radio program are shared around the world providing teaching on sound doctrine and a biblical perspective on current events surrounding Israel. The Friends of Israel Gospel Ministry loves bridging the Jewish community and Christians together. With anti-Semitism on the rise, we need advocates in the Christian community to stand with the Jewish people. Our tours to the Holy Land allow Christians to walk where Jesus walked and experience the miracle of modern day Israel. Our volunteer trips, Origins and Ased, provide Christians a chance to serve alongside Israelis. These trips open Christians' eyes to the realities of daily life in Israel, but more importantly, it gives them a heart for the Israeli people. Our mission has stayed focused all of these years to teach biblical truth about Israel and the Messiah while loving and standing with the Jewish people. We believe God's promises to Israel are never ending. And the Friends of Israel Gospel Ministries message has not changed because the Word of God never changes. God has called us to reach the nations and He has called us to love His chosen people, Israel. And just as our founders did in 1938, we stand with the Jewish people in their time of need because we love what God loves. You know, as we remember today the horrors of the Holocaust, I'm reminded of a story in Erwin Lutzer's book, Hitler's Cross, of a Christian man during the Holocaust in which he said, I lived in Germany during the Nazi Holocaust. I considered myself a Christian. We heard stories of what was happening to the Jews, but we tried to distance ourselves from it because what could anyone do to stop it? A railroad track ran behind our small church, and each Sunday morning we could hear the whistle in the distance and then the wheels coming over the tracks. We became disturbed when we heard the cries coming from the train as it passed by. We realized that it was carrying Jews like cattle in the cars. 
Week after week, the whistle would blow. We dreaded to hear the sound of those wheels because we knew that we would hear the cries of the Jews en route to a death camp. Their screams tormented us. We knew the time the train was coming, and when we heard the whistle blow, we began singing hymns. By the time the train came past our church, we were singing at the top of our voices. If we heard the screams, we sang more loudly, and soon we heard them no more. Years have passed, and no one talks about it anymore. But I can still hear that train whistle in my sleep. God forgive all of us who called ourselves Christians, yet did nothing to intervene. Well, friends, for 82 years now, we at the Friends of Israel Gospel Ministry, together with some of you, have stood, loved, and supported Israel and the Jewish people, refusing to be silent, refusing to allow anti-Semitism to flourish. No, we will never be silent because we will always remember. And so, friends, would you help us to continue to be a light to the Jewish community, to bring solid biblical teaching to the church, to combat replacement theology, And help us to combat anti-Semitism on every front. If that is something that God has placed in your heart, friends, just simply click on the link to donate found in the description below. And let's stand together to love the things that God loves. Because God has an everlasting love for the Jewish people. And so until next time, friends, this has been What in the World is Going On with the Friends of Israel Gospel Ministry. Have a good night.